Hi! In this video I will show you how to make a 12 volt battery charger with auto cutoff feature so whenever the battery gets fully charged, this circuit will automatically turn off the charger to avoid overcharging of the battery. Here I will be using a computer power supply, a DC to DC boost, converter module and a charge controller module. Since a computer power supply provides a maximum of 12 volts to 12.5 volts at its output terminals, we cannot use it directly to charge a 12 volt battery because any 12 volt dry or lead acid battery requires at least 13.5 volts to fully charge it. That is why we need a DC to DC boost converter module to step up the voltage of a computer power supply to at least 13.5 volts. Also, a computer power supply requires a jumper wire to turn it on, so if you don't know how to turn on a computer power supply, then you should check out my previous video where I have showed how to connect a jumper wire that will turn on a computer power supply so that we can use it for this purpose. For this tutorial, I will be using DC to DC buck boost converter module that comes with a part number HW140 but you can use any DC to DC boost converter that should fulfill the current requirements of your battery. Before connecting this module to the battery, we need to calibrate it to provide the right amount of output voltage which should charge the battery as per its requirements that are written on its case. I will use this multimeter to monitor its output voltage while I am calibrating it. Also, I will be using these connecting wires with crocodile connectors to connect the computer power supply to the input of this module. Let's connect another set of crocodile cables between the output of this module and the multimeter so that we can easily monitor its output voltage while we are calibrating the module with its potentiometer. Here I will be charging this 12 volt battery. Its specification indicates that it requires 13.6 to 13.8 input volts for standby use and 14.5 to 14.9 input volts if you are using this battery more often. Also, the initial current should be less than 2.7 amperes while charging this battery. Now, let's turn on the multimeter and power supply to calibrate the module for this battery. We can see a voltage difference that is shown on the module and the multimeter, that is why it is always good to use a multimeter to check the voltages instead of relying on the display of such modules. Right now, the output of this module is set to 4.2 volts and its input voltage can be seen by simply pressing the left push button that is available on this module which is nearly 12 volts from this computer power supply. We can also cut off the output voltage of this module by pressing the right push button on this module. I will use a small screwdriver to calibrate this module using its potentiometer that says CV which means constant voltage. Let's set the output voltage to 14.5 volts. Let's now move to the charge controller module and calibrate it. I will be using this controller module which is suitable for various 12 volts and 24 volts batteries. It comes in a nice compact sized PCB package which has all the components that is required for automatic battery charging function. Let me describe some of the components of this module. This module has a nice 7 segment display that allows real-time voltage monitoring. Below it, we can see two push buttons. A small LED is available which indicates if the battery is charging. A 12 volt relay which controls one of the wires of the charger to achieve the function of controlling the charger output on and off. There are four connectors that allows to attach the battery and power supply with this module. The module comes with a part number HCWM632. It uses LM2596, which is a 3 ampere step-down voltage regulator. 
an inductor for the boost operation, and other components to help in switching and biasing functions. For the demonstration, I will be using these wires with crocodile connectors for connection purpose, but it is compulsory to use thick wires that should allow transfer of high current otherwise the wires will heat up. Let's first test the voltage of this battery using a multimeter. Right now, it is showing 12.6 volts across its terminals. It's time to turn on this module by connecting the battery to it. Here I will place this plastic sheet on the 7 segment display so you can see its voltage more clearly. Let's now compare the voltage of this battery that is being displayed on the module with a standard multimeter. As you can see there is a measurement error of almost 0.18 volts in the voltage measured by this charge controller module so it's always good to use standard multimeter for checking the voltages. Let's now see the function of the two push buttons that are available on this module. The button on the left side is used to set the minimum voltage point on which when the battery potential reaches so this charge controller module will start charging your battery. Simply press it once to see its present value which is set to 12 volts. While the button on the right side is used to set the maximum voltage point, on which when the battery potential reaches, so this charge controller module will stop the charging of the battery. Also simply press it once to see its present value which is set to 14.5 volts. Now, in order to set a new value for a minimum voltage point, just press and hold the left push button for a few seconds which will take you to the programming mode and the digits on the 7 segment display will turn on and off. Once you are in the programming mode, you can press the left or right button to increase or decrease the value. Here, I will set the minimum charging voltage point to 12 volts so whenever the voltage of this battery drops below 12 volts, this module will automatically turn on the charger to charge this battery. Once you are on your desired value, simply wait for a few seconds and the module will save the new value into its memory. In the similar manner, you can set the maximum voltage point by pressing and keep holding the right push button for a few seconds. Set your desired value and wait for a few seconds to let the module save it into its memory. If you don't know the maximum charging voltage for your battery, please see the battery notes which is usually written on the front side of the battery or check its user manual. Here, I will set the maximum charging voltage point to 14 volts so whenever the charging voltage of this battery reaches at this point, this module will automatically cut off the charger from the battery. Finally, after programming this module, let's turn it off and back on to make sure that the new voltages are now stored in its memory.
and it's a success. Finally let's join these two modules together using some connecting wires. It is always recommended to use thick wires to allow passage of high current. Here the first module will be stepping up the input voltage to our desired voltage value for our battery and the second module will continuously monitor the battery voltage and will cut off the charger when the battery reaches the desired voltage. Now, let's connect this computer power supply to the input side of this boost converter module. Also let's connect the battery with the charge controller module. Finally, let me turn on the power supply. Here you can see the current usage which is being drawn by the battery through the charge controller module. Let's connect our multimeter to monitor the voltage across the battery terminals. You can see that the voltage across the battery is rising and it's now being charged more safely. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you later!